What's up everybody? Coming at you today from Real Days World Headquarters. Today we're gonna go over some quick uh, tackle storage ideas for the Old Town Sportsman Pedal 120. There's not a lot of space, not a lot of room on any kayak uh, for storage, so you want to try to make the most out of what you have with it. Uh, under, seat, under the seat on the 120, there's a small area right there you can see measuring. It's about two inches there. Now what I've done it's got a Plano edge that slides right in and out. Slides right under there. Easy one hand operation. Got it on a lanyard right there so when you're sitting in the kayak you can slide it in and out really easy. When you're sitting on it, it don't it don't squish your butt doesn't go down and squish it or anything. When you're sitting in the kayak, you can easily reach down, pull it out, one hand operation, get whatever you need out of it. And close it back up one hand. Slide it right back under there. And like I say, your, it, the, your chair doesn't sink down in and hit your tail or anything like that. You see how it fits in there. Plenty of room. It doesn't move around too much, but there's enough room in there to where it's comfortable. And then something else that I've set up to use is right behind the seat. It's an angle drop box cooler. I'm using it as a drop box, as a tackle box. So you can go right into it. Has a little tray, you can keep your gloves or whatever you want to in there. Some extra line for leader. And then I got all this, which will be clipped up front when you're actually out on the water. And then got your plastics and Ziploc bags. So you can reach in and grab them. Put them on easily. And do it right back up and get to fishing. And they just hook right in with the bungee straps that was provided that comes on the boat. All right, so if any of you are interested, the under seat box I'm using, this is a new one. I'm gonna set it up for fresh water, the one I've got in it now is for salt water. I'm gonna set this one up for fresh water. So depends on where I'm at, I'll take that one with me. There's no use to tote all of them with you every time you go, but it's a Plano edge. You can see it's the 3700 and you can see the measurements on it there because they make a thin one, a thick one, and then the middle one. And this is the middle one right here. So you can see that's 3700 and there's a model number right there too, if that helps. Anyway, just wanted to make a quick video showing that. Please like and subscribe. Later.